Okay, so in our last lesson, um, if we start by um, opening up our project from the last lesson, click on projects and open projects. And desktop, and we'll have um, lesson sublime, and this is our project. So we wrote this bit of code, uh, which gave us uh, this output on the screen. Um, so 10 lines of code gives us one line of output. Yay. So, all right, so well, I'm going to use this program. It's called uh, Pages. If you're on Windows, think of this as Microsoft Word. It has a bunch of templates in it, and these are document templates. Um, down below, you can see it has more complex ones, and up here, it has uh, simple ones. So my idea is that we're going to recreate this document using HTML and CSS. HTML is essentially uh, a document, and we'll be looking at how to use different HTML elements to style this. So I'll change this so it makes a bit of sense. I'll change instructor name, so it is my name, Kingsley Ujoma. Change, so um, you don't need to have pages to follow this um, lesson. You just type what I type when it comes to the coding section. So we can see this document is made up of different sections and what we need to do is figure out what element to use to group these sections. Um, so this could be the header, uh, this is a subheader, uh, this is the article content, and this is the footer, the left side, and then there's the right side, um, page number. If we start with uh, this section here, uh, this section you might uh, think is a header, but it's not. In HTML, it's actually the footer. So it's information about a uh, document. Let's have a look at the, the footer element. So if I click on this and open up in a new tab, and if we scroll down, it says uh, the footer is typically, uh, typically contains information about the section, such as who wrote it, uh, linked to related documents, copyright data, and the like. So it's not necessarily information at the bottom of the page. It's information relating to the document. So this information has the department for the document who wrote it, the day it was written, so it is a footer. Uh, so if we come over here, we could say footer and close our footer elements like that. Okay, and within our footer, we need to put some things in there. Um, here we have three lines of text which we need to put in there. So those are paragraph tests, so we can use the P element here. So if I write the P and I could uh, put the name of the department for this document, uh, geology department. So you could go ahead and type the same. I could put the, the name of the person who wrote this article. Uh, I'll put my name, so you could put your name, uh, Kingsley Ujoma, and close it. And then we have uh, the date uh, this article was written. Um, let me have a look at the format. So it's November. Okay, and 2014, I will terminate it like that. Right, let's save uh, save this. So we've, I've come to written the footer and we've put three different paragraphs inside it. Um, and let's have a look and see what it looks like. So if we reset or refresh our page, we have uh, three lines of codes. So let's compare this code with um, our document template. So, so far, that's what we're working towards, um, having that section. We can see there's a big space at the top and at the left side, and all that stuff really is something that we use CSS for. You see there's massive spaces here compared to the template. Uh, we use something called CSS, a uh, cascading style sheet, to style our documents. HTML just is a, is a backbone. Okay, for displaying, putting things in the right elements. So that's what we're doing here, and we've achieved, we've achieved that in a way. All right. So we've we've uh, we've learned something new in this lesson: how to use our footer and how to create things. And by the way, just for curiosity's sake, uh, these spaces you see uh, in the paragraph, we we'll go into a paragraph and see why the space exists in the first place. So though we haven't applied any style to it, uh, it has a default style, and you can see here it has a margin before and margin after, one EM. So that's how and why we have this uh, default space and apply to it. So it has a default style to it, which we'll be 
um, working on uh, in a couple of lessons to come. So in this lesson, um, we've learned uh, what that the footer is not necessarily something that's in the footer of the page. It's some is related document, related information to our main document. Um, we'll stop this lesson here, and in the next lesson, we can proceed with um, building our document. And I will see you in the next lesson.